Yeah, great. My name's Brian. Um, I'm, I'm with the Lord Rangers. Uh, we're just doing a animal, animal, animal survey here to see what 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 are the animal on our country so we can manage manage it like in the future. And we'll see how we go with that. Um, in the monitoring, we use a whole bunch of different types of traps. We use cage traps, which are like this, which are a um, which are a, a trap that you can use for catching um, large mammals or crows. Even you catch things like crows in them. Twenty Elliot traps, one box at each site. Twenty of them per site. They fold up very conveniently. Um, and then we do a pitfall array, which is just a, a group of pitfall traps that are 10 metres apart in a T shape. So three along the base of the T and one sticking up. And that's basically what we do at every site. We leave the traps open for four nights. So the Elliot traps will be out for four nights. The, all these um, pitfall traps and funnel traps will be out for four nights. And at the end of those four nights, we pack them up, cover the buckets up, over. Away we go. See and I just digging this hole here. This bucket is going to be level with the ground. I don't think I have to get the, 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 the trap over with the blizzard for him. We've got to run a fence line when we should. What we do, once we've got it set, is we put dirt on that lip and that holds it down and then we can fill it in from the back so it's really a very flat surface so that any lizard or snake that comes along is not going to dig underneath because a lot of things like to dig underneath. Any little lizard runs along here. So these things are the yabby traps I showed you before. So the way these work, put them right at the end of the fence so we've got as much space to work as possible. And we want it to be up really tight against against this fence. So to do that, you get this peg and you can push against it. And this goes, this pushes against the other side. So this one pushes against this one. And it's nice and tight up against the fence. Hold it there. Make a little ramp, make sure that funnel's open. And then the cover. This is to keep the animals alive. Bit of shade, bit of insulation, it goes right across. That stops the morning sun. The lid plus the, the cover stops the midday sun. And that stops the afternoon sun. And we just put a branch or two across it to stop it blowing away. And that is how funnel traps go. I'm a lizard guy. Might have made a little cut out of me yet, mate. Side is diminishing by every side that passes. It's getting it's getting quicker and quicker. More the merrier. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Good stuff. So Justin, we to pick this side, mate. Well, we were driving along here, and you know the other the other um, creek site that we saw, totally different ground cover to this. This has got more leaves on the ground. The vegetation's different, it's got sort of thicker vegetation. Um, the ground cover's the thing that I'm particularly looking at. 
when for, from a fauna perspective we're looking for things where animals can hide and live and survive and it just seems that this place hasn't been burnt as much as everywhere else you look around there's not many scars on the trees fire scars on the trees there's still good grass uh, leaf cover so we're really excited about this i reckon we'll catch something really good here yeah, yeah. well hope so trap and fall in there this we often catch these these has anyone seen one of these before you have this is a this is a, a carnivorous um, Australian mammal and it's the smallest Australian mammal it's called a planigale or a, a narrow-nosed planigale and this is my favorite Australian mammal this thing's a um, it's part of a, um, a group called Dazurids and they're all the carnivorous mammals, so quolls, Tasmanian devils, Tasmanian tigers when they existed, um, and then these little fellas. So this is like a small Tasmanian devil, and they have got the most attitude out of any small animal you'll ever find. So you can see the size of that canine there. If that was in there, can you imagine this the size of a dog? Like if this animal was the size of a dog, how big that canine would be? It would be about that big. Like it's an enormous, um, and they've got big downward pressure. So if this thing bit me on the finger, you'd start, you'd see blood coming out of the, the bit that it got. So it's a great little carnival. It'll also eat other mammals. So if, it, if, if a little mouse fell in there with it, like a little house mouse, that mouse would be eaten the next day. You can touch it. It's, you can see this one's a male. You can see the size of its nuts. <laughs> and then these, these, these things, males, males of this species live one year. So they live, they, they basically live to have sex and die. And they just, they get born, they grow to an adult, they have sex and they die. So that's, that, that's their life. The females only last two years at most. So they're, they're, it's, they're in a precarious situation. If you change something in this habitat and they don't have that next year, they don't live for three or four years, they basically have two years to survive. And they survive by having lots of babies at once and they just, so they, and they just basically go mad. Breeding season, you'll catch lots of them They'll be travelling across trying to get have as much sex as possible. That's their life. So that's a ripper. That's a really good find for the first day. And I'm going to find somewhere nice and warm to put this little fella. With the buckets, just get that um, bit of cover clean the dirt out and check thoroughly for lizards because again if you put that lid on that thing's going to die in there so get all the dirt out well not all you don't have to get all the dirt out but just make sure there's no critters in there I'm running a bird of a string here. Bucket. That, that bucket will last in the ground for about what, 10 years. Pile them all in the dirt and chuck them all the stick on it. Stop what, the erosion, eh? Cat cattle can cramp them or break the bucket. We know where to find them next time. got a uh, bano gecko here. This pretty common gecko. He features his rough skin. He's different to the gecko in the house. 
This one haven't got a web feet, uh, padded feet. Pretty little rough little skin. Uh, big eyes. It's quite a little. I just gonna let him go and we'll get a mansion built for him here. Here around little mate. You see, like before, the old people they used to have the country real good. Our country used to be rich with this, like bush tucker, sugar bag, honey. That's why we need to get all these sort of things back, like manage the country, manage our burns, get the country rich again, you know? So we can have all these sort of things.